Good morning and welcome to the Thursday, October 12th edition of the VTV News Show. I'm Ori. And I'm Summer. Well, it's not very pleasant outside. Cold, rain, it's just not the ideal weather. And the worst part is you can expect this same weather for the next four to five days. The forecast does not look good, so make sure you're wearing a warm jacket and carrying an umbrella at all times this week. We now have two contestants who will be moving on to the Jeopardy finals. Last week you saw Mr. Miller take home the title, and yesterday it was Brendan Sims who dominated to take home the win. Just one more round to see who the third player will be, and you'll see the next week on Wednesday when Miss Sandra Lasantine, Mr. Evan Roberts, and returning champion Anaya Mutri play for the title. Should be a lot of fun. Today we have a long list of announcements for you and some cool things happening in the news. So let's get started. There will be a short Environmental Vikings Club meeting today at 310 in room E30. New members are welcome. Attention SNHS members. Don't forget there is a meeting in room 224 North after school. Are you open-minded? Are you accepting of all people? Are you looking for others who share those values and a place to call home? Please join us for Alphabet Soup where we celebrate every individual for exactly who they are. All letters embraced and included. Join us today from 3.30 to 5.30 in G5 to make plans for celebrating International Pronouns Day on October 18th. Questions? Reach out to Mrs. Van, Mrs. Zandy, or Mr. Hurdle. Hey Vikings, coming soon is our annual Pinktober event sponsored by Junior Class Student Government. Tomorrow, get your pink on. That's right, let's paint HF pink for the day in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. T-shirts are on sale on the campus store for just $10. Get yours before they sell out. Let's paint HF pink. October is National Bullying Prevention Month and is a time for our HF community to unite, raise awareness, learn, and take action. Make it a point to express kindness, acceptance, and inclusion. Unity Day is Wednesday, October 18th, and make sure you show your support by wearing orange. This will be the 22nd year that HF has showcased vocations for Viking students in the HF Fieldhouse as a way to inspire and encourage them to envision their bright futures. This year's fair is set for Monday, October 16th from 8.30 to 3 p.m. Students will have an opportunity to walk through the Fieldhouse during their PE, Health, or Driver's Education class to speak with professionals from a variety of careers, including medicine, law, communications, engineering, government, business, the trades, and more. Quiz time. What's one thing happening this fall that's even more rare than the dominating performance by the Chicago Bears? Answer, a solar eclipse visible from Flossmoor. That's right. This Saturday, a solar eclipse will be visible from Flossmoor. You are invited to join Mr. Gibson's astronomy classes to view the event here on campus. Telescopes will be set up on the lawn by the biopond, and fancy eclipse glasses will be available to safely view the sun during this special event. The eclipse starts at 10.30 and finishes at 1.22 in the afternoon. Stop by around noon for the best viewing. All are welcome. HF Steppers competition season tryouts are October 18th and 19th from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. in the South Cafeteria. We're looking for young men and women for our award-winning competition team. Practices will start in November. Join the Spanish National Honor Society in their donation drive to help create homes for the refugees, asylum seekers, and other migrants arriving in Chicago. Students and staff are encouraged to bring new or gently used items to help give people a starting place who are arriving here with little to no resources. Scan the QR code to see the items that SNHS is collecting. Drop off donations at Miss Mazzola's room 224 in North Building or across the hall from South Cafeteria. Donations will be accepted until Friday, October 20th. My name is Juliet Arod. I am originally from Boston, but I've lived in Chicago for five years. Um, and I arrived in Chicago after living in Peru for a little while. I teach adults computer programming and software development, um, and I've come to really love Chicago. Todo Para Todos is a mutual aid collective that was founded um, in May of this year to support a independent volunteer-run shelter in Pilsen. Um, there were about 250, uh, 250 individuals served in the shelter um, that were all asylum seekers that had recently arrived from South America, mostly Venezuela and Colombia. The shelter has now closed and so all of those families have transitioned into permanent housing, um, but they need a lot of support with furniture and with housewares and with clothing. Um, because they were in an independently run shelter, uh, they did not receive city assistance um, with rental assistance. Um, so they are uh, renting apartments throughout the city and are looking for support. And we have been collecting donations and distributing them to different apartments um, where folks have been, have been moving to. So a lot of folks um, that are arriving right now are from Venezuela primarily, but also Colombia, Ecuador, and some other areas. Um, and most 
if not all, are coming due to um, various circumstances in their home countries that make um, make it unlivable to, to live there, either violence or political instability or a lack of economic opportunities. Congratulations to the HF student Mila Ponce, who was re recently named national winner of the American High School Poets Just Poetry Contest. You can now see the poem in publication at www.justpoetry.org. Dr. Cook is the Chief Financial Officer of HF. One of his responsibilities as the CFO is that he works closely with the district's food service provider. We are looking to form a student food service committee that would consist of six to ten students and at least two food service provider employees. The objectives of the committee would be to sample food items, share what you believe is working well, and share what you believe could be improved. If you are interested in sitting on the committee, please use your student email address to email your name, student ID number, and a few bullet points describing why you are interested in sitting on the committee. The email is lcook at hf233.org. This past Saturday, the debate team traveled to Schaumburg for the first local tournament of the year. They debated topics such as whether housing is right in the United States, and if the U.S. military should increase its presence in the Arctic. Here are some of win the winners from last week. And that concludes our list of announcements that were sent in. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the world of HF Sports with Theo Holloway. I'm Theo Holloway of all your sports announcements. The girls volleyball team lost to Lockport in two games by the scores of 18 to 25 and 22 to 25. Madonna Trantham had seven kills, seven digs, and two blocks, while Yehoma Ozo had four kills and two blocks to lead the Vikings. The team is now 22 and five on the season. The boys varsity soccer team defeated Linkway West two to one on senior night with the game winning goal coming from junior Edwin Ayala. Big performance by senior goalkeeper Douglas Austin and another solid performance from sophomore Damian Lopez from both assists. Congratulations to all the seniors. The varsity soccer team moves on to start the playoff against Marist High School on Friday. That was all that was sent in to us. If you have a score you would like us to announce, send it to VTV at hf233.org in the sports corner. I'm Theo Holloway. Looking ahead to tomorrow, we've got a great show on, on tap for you. We start looking at haunted houses in the area and let you know which scary places are the best to visit. We will also take a look at a new course being run here at HF and let you know how you can see the solar eclipse this weekend as well. Great show coming your way tomorrow. Today we'll end the show with a reminder about Pinktober, which is an event we all need to take part in. Try to stay warm and dry out there. We'll be back tomorrow for all the fun. I'm Summer. And I'm Ori. For everyone here at VTV, have a great day. Every year in October, countries all around the world celebrate National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, also known as Pinktober. The goal of Pinktober is to create awareness, educate everyone about the disease, and raise money to help treat those who are affected by it. To honor this, student government members will be outside the cafeteria during soft lunches to give staff and students the opportunity to get pink ribbons, stickers, and other promotional items. Pinktober shirts are currently on sale from now through October 13th in the campus bookstore for $10 only. All proceeds will be donated to the Cancer Support Center in Homewood. Also, last month's homecoming dunk tank raised $91 that will be donated to the Breast Cancer Awareness along with additional funds that will be raised at the Pinktober football game on Friday, October 13th. Remember to wear your pink shirts or any pink material on Friday and stop by the front of the cafeteria during lunch for a treat.